The Attorney General and Minister of Justice Godfrey Dami has revealed that his office will soon begin the prosecution of all persons involved in the men's gold financial fraud. However, the customers were quick to point out that all they are interested in is their money paid them and not a lawsuit against the men's gold CEO, Nanapia Mensa, who is also known as Nam One. Fred Forson speaks for the aggrieved customers of men's gold. Customers have been delayed, our time has been wasted, and above all, one hundred and eighty three people have been killed without any reason for any cause. As we speak, with this confession and with the discussion that we had and the information at their disposal, it means the delay in government action in respect of paying the customers was done for nothing. So we are saying that where we are now, what government should do is that uh, the 2019 petition that we sent to the Attorney General and the recent motion having been, uh, 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 having been filed in Parliament by the Honorable Member of South Dai on uh, uh, what to relate to how government or the state can proceed to pay men's those government, we suggest that the Attorney General should work closely with Parliament. And this time they should rush and ensure that this motion is passed so that women can be guided by Parliament to proceed on how they can pay the government. The customers also lament that several years after the Economic and Organized Crime Office Yoko froze assets of the Men's Gold CEO, which were later sold, they are yet to be paid their lost funds. They are therefore planning on a march to the Jubilee House on September 12 to petition President Okufuado over the matter. Yeah, so on the 12th of September, which is uh, Monday, coming, coming Monday, we shall uh, petition the President to ask for a presidential intervention in the men's group matter. If you remember, uh, it's four years, just September Monday, is four years since men's group was shut down. And victims have done everything under the sun, but we are not able to achieve our money. So, this time we want to petition the president for a presidential intervention so that we shall secure our money. And uh, we are converging at uh, customs, the traffic lights around customs. All of us are converging there. Then we shall do a walk through the ministries to the Independence Square. At Independence Square, and this time we want the personal intervention of the president in this matter. Yeah, we believe that the president is the father of the nation and the last resort. He has enormous powers. He has that aspect of thing that he shows compassion to people and looking at the situation, the human factor, the welfare of the people. You know, about 35% of the other population are involved in the We believe that it's high time that we appeal to the compassionate aspect of the president of the Republic of Ghana to it's a rain and it is converting a custom to a community area under the traffic light area. This arrangement has been made. It's made, it's made with the police. This house has been made to So they are all aware we are coming. They've given us the green light. They've given us the assurance. So we want everybody to be present on that day. These two hours will be done with when they prepare that area.